Hi YouTube, today we're going to do a new video about NBA 2K13. We're going to do a career mode. We're going to play with it. And I'm starting to create my player in the NBA. Um not it's not the first time that I play in the in career mode. I get a lot of sex a lot of good things when I was playing with this. Uh, let's do Florida, 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 let's Florida. Um, oh, here, Florida, okay. Julie, sir, 29, 23. My favorite number. Insulation mid range. High post. 6 foot. Three and one hundred ninety inbounds. Okay. I see my tips. You see it? You see my tips? Okay. Okay. Left arm. Well, get okay, down. Oh, what? What? No. Four guards. Coin. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. It is fine. Triple T good. Good thickness. Okay, we upgrade everything. Uh, 40. 20. Okay. 26. Yes, this is going to be my shot. That's good. No. Okay. Okay. Ready. Oh, oh my god. That's good. Sure, that's good. Okay. That's not just say that you like it. Which job to say? Okay, full take. Okay. okay, that's all done now. Okay. Behind the back, let's do this. Okay, I like it. Oh, what's this? Translation, okay. Okay, rookie. No, I just woke up. Okay, I'm done it. So let's start the rookie showcase. Welcome and thanks for joining us for the NBA Rookie Showcase alongside the top young talent face-off in anticipation of the NBA Draft. And because that's the case, Kevin, no shortage of GMs and front office execs here in the building, representatives from every NBA team on hand to check this action out. And that can obviously put a lot of pressure on these young guys. But of course, performing when there is pressure is a big part of what they're hoping to be paid to do. So uh, we'll get a chance here today to see who rises to the top. Here are tonight's starting lineups presented by... We're into the scale in terms of his size. He absorbs contact pretty well and has a nice change of pace. He's going to surprise some people with how productive he is. I tell you what, you need to archive that one 
for the highlight tape. Oh, yeah, that, that okay is there. a keeper. You're correct. Man, that was incredible. Yeah, really those incredible. plays will give your team a huge boost. Well, when you look at Anthony Davis, the freshman out of Kentucky, there's no question. Smooth gets the board inside. Great close out there, forcing the Aaron shot. Well, he made it a tough shot again. He didn't give up. He wanted to be seen by an NBA front office. This is the place to be. It's just one game. They've got their full attention. Well, I hope they start getting warmed up here soon. That's all for four at this point. This is not bad. A slow start for the starters in this one. Looking for the first basket of the game. Of why he's so highly regarded. Yeah, you can yeah, make yeah. plays that other people simply yeah. can't. Here's Magician. Oh, I've done it. Like a and boss. Like a boss. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. The Stars trail by six. Lillard, the pass to Beal. With the lead pass. And finished oh, off by Leonard. Pretty significant laps there on the defensive end, guys. Yeah, those are the ones. You know, you just... Barnes the miss. No, Barnes has got four rebounds now tonight. Boy, no. he's really oh, been active on the last And a nice bonus from him. I mean, if he can rebound like this in the NBA. Splash. You know, I think he's opened some eyes with his performance out here. Combination. The leads trail by six. Throws it up high. Oh my God. They get the rebound. Right. There's the three. Splash. Points in the game. And the stars have. He's putting it on display, guys. Getting buckets right and left. Pass to smooth. Oh, what? Can you get three? That's the free splash. Down the long range shots. A lot of those same shots they missed earlier in the first quarter. They still find themselves down oh, here, but they're starting to make some headway into that deficit. Oh, yeah, you the time. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. The pass to White. And getting him the easy hoop. Pass to smooth. And that one is good. Magician's got eight points here in this quarter. You know, it is really hard to miss shot that close to the basket. Let's see that again. Okay, let's get back. Okay, let's see how we get back over here. Oh, how I turn my camera. Oh my gosh. It's some cheap. Oh, look at this. Like, let's look at it like this. Oh! This is what I'm talking about. And I've done it. Oh, here's Rivers. Six points for him. Feeds it to Robinson. Okay, well, that's a good brother. Shoots. Hits uh. the jump hook. Robinson's got his second bucket of the game to go. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight oh, points, geez. guys, all ah, coming yeah. inside the paint. Yeah, yeah. And Steve, if I'm them, I'd, I'd keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. They don't yeah, offer resistance. Go. Take everything you can get in there. There's the feed to Henson. Just five to shoot. This is to Marshall. I'm deep. Okay, and we now return to the rookie showcase and plenty of scouts and GM still in attendance for the second half. And you know, never too late for these young prospects to make a great first impression. Yeah, there's still time to show them something, open some eyes, and you know that's what they're here to do. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the court right now for the Stars. Myers Leonard is out there with Thomas Robinson. Then it's Damian Lillard. Then there's Bradley Beal. And it's Kid Gilchrist in at the small forward position. Steve, a nice college career. Back in high school in Iowa, he was drawing comparisons to Kobe Bryant. 
And I don't think obviously he met on the quite oh, those expectations as a short time and short Well, Kevin, that's a that's an unfortunate <laughs> comparison. Anybody <laughs> putting a <laughs> college player's name in the same breath as Kobe Bryant. That being said, Barnes has a chance to be pretty good with his size and skill. Beal, the pass to Robinson. Shoots over Henson. Robinson misses. The elite's trailing. Here's Magician. He's got 19. For the lead. Uh, stars with the rebound and swinging they needed that shot battle Steve I sense some frustration here it seems like they're getting a little frustrated it's understandable because they've given up this big run three-pointer and this shot that one drops magician's got 22 points yes the stars with the lead tipped away and the whistle blows in the back of violation he went over and back Take what they're struggling to protect the ball here. Kind of a messy second half. Kid Gilchrist is jumped in for the Stars. They are right on the brink of taking the lead. This is a critical juncture in this ball game, Kevin. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. To take the lead, the shot's good from Smooth. It is prominent and is important, I think, in the game than it is right now. I agree. Some of that is the rule changes, guys. No hand checks. The floor is more spread. Oh, I know. But yeah, there's a new breed of athletic point guards. They don't know what to think. And it's the elites with the ball. Here's Magician. No way, no way, no Oh, man. He was inside. He's covered by Leonard. Second shot opportunity, and Davis gets it to go on the assist by Henson. 18 points for Anthony Davis. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And um, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Here's Smooth. Now it's a four-point elite lead. And here are the stars now. And Lillard kicks to Beale. He dishes it to Lillard. Robinson. The dish to Beale. Six on the shot clock. Launches it. And Davis pulls it down. It's tipped. Oh, 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 oh. Kid Gilchrist with the steal. Oh, oh my there. God. Yeah, that was huge. Mm. Stepping up when it matters most. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now, is your thoughts? No need to rush things, although I think if you want to get a shot off in time to the point where if you miss it, you got a shot in the offensive rebound. Well, if you got a play in your quiver that gets you a good shot, the one you've been saving all game, now's the time to use it. Now, here's Williams. Stolen by Wiggles. And the foul is excellent. They're going to have to do that now. Again and again, they're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, no question the right call at this point. You can't let them just dribble it out. That's right. I mean, you got to send them to the line and hope for a few misses. And they go to the intentional foul. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. It's a three-point game. Absolutely deadly from the line. Now they have no choice but to look for the three here. So it's the elites taking the double. Those are the elites. Well, it was a fun one, but the elites just had the better day. Good game out there tonight, son. I'm the GM of the Raptors, and I must say I was impressed with your performance. We have the eighth pick of the draft and are looking for someone to be the face of our franchise. We'd like to ask you a couple questions and get a feel of how well you'd fit in with us. I really think the first piece to getting this franchise back on track is to find and develop our point guard of the future. We have Jose Calderon on the roster, but we've been thinking lately that we might need to go in another direction here. We think you might be that new direction. What do you think? I know you're going to talk to some of the other point guards in the draft, but none of them are going to have my work ethic. My
character, my dedication, and my sheer will to win basketball games. I'm eager to be the face of a franchise, and I don't want to do it anywhere else but in Toronto. Interesting. Next question. We feel like we have a great young core in Bargnani and now Valencia Yunus coming over from Europe. We might not turn things around immediately, but if we can add another great young talent, we'll be a team to contend with in a short time. Are you willing to be part of a developing process for a few seasons, even if that means losing your fair share of games? I, I didn't come to the NBA to be happy about losing. Honestly, the way I see it, it's now or never. YOLO, baby. I just don't see myself being happy in Toronto and suggest that you look elsewhere in this draft, man. Thanks for your time. It was a little disappointing, to be honest, but I appreciate you being up front with us. Good game out there tonight, son. I'm the GM of the Kings, and I must say, I was impressed with your performance. We have the fifth pick in this draft, and we're looking at potentially using this pick on you. First, though, we'd like to get to know you better by asking you a couple questions. Let's get to it. We realize that here in Sacramento, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or Chicago. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization, someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Sacramento Kings, someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of the Kings. Are you that person? Yeah, I would be honored to be a member of this organization. From everything I've seen, you guys have a rabid fan base out in Sacktown. I'd love to be a leader on this team for the next decade. And some people just aren't ready for it, if you know what I mean. What are your plans once you get that first paycheck? To be honest, that's something I haven't given much thought. Right now, I'm completely focused on my game and getting drafted in the lottery. Hopefully top five, man. That'd be nice. Great answers. I really think you'd fit in great with us. Here's hoping we're able to draft you with our pick. Greetings, I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Detroit Pistons. We're picking ninth in the upcoming draft. We love what we saw in you and want to ask you some questions to see how well you'd fit in with us. Question number one. The team that we built here in Detroit was a rebuilding effort that didn't quite pan out. Obviously, it's difficult to predict the future, but I expect to see a fair amount of roster turnover as we work towards retooling the lineup for another rebuilding effort. How comfortable would you feel coming into a situation where the roster is in a state of flux? It sounds to me like you're saying that I should expect a season or two where the roster is built to develop rather than win right away. I can get on board with that because it would give me some time to form chemistry with the other guys on the team. To me, it sounds like the same recipe that Thunder used, and that worked incredible for them. All right then, one more. How did you feel about your game tonight? What stood out to you? Great, man. I feel great. I really feel like I put my talents on display out there. When you guys go back and watch the tape, I think you'll realize what you'd be getting in me. A future all-star. No doubt, baby. Okay, that's all I have. I love what I heard here. We would love to have you join us. We'll be in touch. Good evening and welcome to the 2012 NBA Draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players, 
Tonight marks the culmination of years of hard work as their dream of playing in the NBA moves closer to reality. To all of the fans watching around the world and to those here with us tonight, thank you for joining us. And now to the task at hand. With the first pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Hornets select Anthony Davis from the University of Kentucky. With the second pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Michael Kidd Gilchrist from the University of Kentucky. With the third pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Bradley Beal from the University of Florida. With the fourth pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Dion Waiters from Syracuse University. With the fifth pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select the 19-year-old point guard from the University of Florida. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.